Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup look. You guys have been asking me for a tutorial on my other channel, so here we are on my new channel and it's going to be all about beauty, makeup, hair, hauls, everything because my other channel is going to be strictly workouts. But yeah, if you guys want to see me get this makeup, this is my everyday makeup routine and it is a powder foundation routine. So if you guys want to see me get this look, also I did my hair too. So it's going to be a full get ready with me. We're going to do hair and makeup outfit. So if you guys want to see me get ready, just please keep on watching. Okay guys, we are starting with a complete bare face. I washed my face. I actually just did a face mask. It is very important that you do your skincare. Let me hold on. The face mask I just did was the Refresh Clay Mask by Muddy Body. Their products are my holy grail. I use all of their products. I love them so much. So once again, my face is completely bare besides my lash extensions. A girl gotta have her lash extensions. So, so first thing I'm gonna do guys is just clip my hair back. And if you guys see me looking down right here, my mirror is right here. I try to keep my hair behind my ears, but it just won't stay. So I'm gonna use my little clips and clip it. Okay, so now that my hair is clipped back, first thing I'm gonna be doing is moisturizing. I am using the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream by Drunk Elephant. This stuff is really expensive, but it is my holy grail. I also even have it in a little travel size. And excuse my skin, guys, whenever I rub and touch my face I get really red so so it is very important that in between applying moisturizers primers or anything you need to let your face dry so I'm just going to take my little fan and put it up on the high setting and some people just take a fan and do that but I really like this and it also has like this fan and then like I can take it off and hold it or I can put it on the stand and like let it sit there I normally have it going the entire time while I'm doing my makeup because I tend to get so hot when I'm doing my makeup. Also guys, when I did my mask, I also did a lip treatment. This is the lip scrub. This is Kylie Skin Sugar Lip Scrub. And I'm right now I'm going to put on a lip mask. I either put like Vaseline or this lip mask. It is so good. It smells so good. I'm just going to rub my finger. And it's really thick. So a little bit goes a long way. So now that my moisturizer has dried down, I'm going to be taking my primer. This is the Tatcha Silk Canvas. Again, holy girl, it is expensive, but you should definitely go to the store and ask for a sample. I believe they're doing samples again now. And I'm just going to put so much of this on my face. Like, I love this so much. And if you have, like, <gasps> girl, if you have, like, a lot of breakouts, this will prevent like your breakouts from getting worse if you want to wear makeup over the over your breakout. You can also put this over your lips, but I just applied a lip mask, so I'm not gonna do that. I always like apply it to my eyelids to use it as like a base. Once again. So next guys, after I let that dry. Again, very important. I like to go in with my Pore Professionals. I bought this, um, these primers in a concealer. I mean, I bought these primers in a little three pack. And I have really large pores. So I'm just going to put this in the area where I feel like I have pores. And I like to put it underneath my eyes where I would normally crease. And also in my frown lines. I mean, my frown lines and my smile lines where I would normally crease. And then I apply this going down. Do not rub this in a circle because it is like a pore filler. So it's like if you move it in a circle, it will probably roll up on you. And also, guys, if you're applying like two primers and your primer starts to roll up, it's because you did not let the product dry in between. Of course, any excess, I just go ahead and rub it all over my face. Okay guys, the skin is looking very much moisturized, plumped, and it's really soft. So first thing I'm gonna do guys are my brows. I'm just taking a spoolie and 
brushing my lashes out. I don't want them to look crazy. I'm also going to use that same spoolie. Can y'all see? Am I like close enough? Okay. So these are my natural brows. They are waxed. So for my brows, I'm going to be taking my MAC pencil in the color Spiked. And first, we're going to brush our brows up. Even though I just did that. I like to brush them all the way up. My brows are pretty full, so I don't have to really do much to them as far as filling them in. And I'm using the thin one because I know that they have a thick one. I have that one also, but since my brows are full, it's not much I need to do. So I'm just going to outline the bottom. I'm going to do the other one as well. I don't know, guys. I like to pull my brow when I do it. I'm not even really pulling. I'm just like placing my, my hand there. So as you guys see, the bottom is lined. So I'm going to go in and brush the brows. Hair is going down. Who else goes back and forth, back and forth? Or do you like do one whole brow and do the other? I just have to do them the exact same. So I'm going to start like halfway in the brow and fill in the line at the top. See, then I'll go lightly, lightly, lightly in the front. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And then we're going to lightly press the front. So all I did was line the top and the bottom. Now we're going to brush it out very lightly. I never fill in my eyebrows all the way because they are already really thick. And the outline is just to make them look more perfect. And we got a brow that looks very natural. So we're going to go and do the same thing to the other side. So next I'm going to be taking this pen concealer in the color NW35 Studio Finish Concealer by MAC. And let me tell y'all, this concealer is more so my color. It's probably darker than my skin, but I only use a very little bit. So, you know, it, it can be darker, but look. Sis, hit pan. I need to go to the store. I really need to do some makeup shopping, but literally I hardly ever do my makeup, so... This the last. I'm going to be taking this Eco Tools angled brush and I'm going to lightly tap it in the concealer pan so that I can get a little bit of product. And I'm going to line my brows. And I'm going to repeat the same step on the other side, of course. So whatever's left over on the brush, I'm just going to lightly brush across the top because I really don't want a super boxy brow. Just want to clean it up a little bit. My eyebrows are already pretty much clean. So I'm going to be taking this flat brush. I'm not sure where it's from, but I'm just going to be using this to blend out the concealer around my brows. And 
and the brows are done. I'm gonna brush my brows one more time. And my brows are done. So next I'm gonna be taking a color corrector. I pretty much use anyone's color corrector as long as it's orange. And I'm going to, it has this little brush on the end. I'm just gonna tap on all of my impurities. And these are probably things you guys cannot even see on camera, but you know, it's my face, so I see it. Boom. Now I look like I got chicken pox. So while I let this sit, I'm gonna take this Morphe palette. This is the Pure Nude Morphe palette. I got this for travel because it's so tiny. And these are pretty much the shades that I use, like all neutral, all brown. And if I don't use this, I'm gonna just use my bronzer. But today I'm gonna use this. So I'm gonna take the shade Kinda Natural. And I'm just gonna put it all over my eye lid. And I like to bring it all the way up because this is the only color that I'm going to be using. This is an everyday look. And I start out very lightly with how much I use. Depending on by the end of the look, I may or may not add more. So I naturally have really dark eyelids. So really I'm just mattifying my lid because it's super oily and glossy. Because I'm a very oily girl. If I did not mention that, I'm extremely oily. So all these products are very safe for you to use if you're oily. <laughs> and another thing with me having eyelash extensions, I never ever do a crazy lid. Okay, so we're just going to leave it like that for now. So next I'm going to be taking my same concealer and that same brush that I use on my brows. And I'm going to be concealing these spots that I put. And I try to put just a little bit. So I'm just going to be blending this out with my finger. And I normally like, I got freaking flyaways everywhere. I normally like to blend around and not directly on it so it doesn't take the product off of my skin. I'm tapping with a very light finger. Next I'm going to be taking my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the color Sand. This is my holy grail. I love this concealer so much. I've tried plenty concealers and this is just my number one. I always go back to it. So I'm just going to apply it here. Here. and down the bridge of my nose. And guys, I never use a lot of concealer. So I'm gonna let that sit and get thick before we blend it out. So while I let this sit and get thick, I'm gonna be using my CoverGirl Clean Professionals Translucent Powder. Guys, this stuff, this is really cheap. You can find it at Walmart. It is so good, I'm gonna get it ready. So now that that has got taken, I'm gonna be taking this little sponge. Yes, it already has makeup on it. But I'm just going to blend this out. And I always bring my concealer up on the side of my nose. You guys are wondering like what the hell you don't put your concealer on before your foundation, but you guys will see. And I tried using like a beauty blender, but I feel like since I use such, um, since I don't use so much product, I feel like the beauty blender kind of takes my products away so since i'm already using a light hand on the product i just use a dry sponge and guys it is very important for me to make sure i blend this completely out before moving on to the next step like it needs to be blended literally into my skin i'm just taking a round one just to blend the outside Okay, 
Okay, I'm going to smooth out the crease before I apply setting powder. And again, I'm going to be using my CoverGirl Clean Professionals. So I'm going to be taking another sponge. And I'm just going to be setting my under eye with it. I'm also going to set my nose. And since I tend to crease a lot, I'm not going to let this sit for long. I'm going to go ahead and take my e.l.f. brush. This is a highlighting brush, but I'm going to use it to dust away the powder. And then I'm going to also take that excess dust. I'm going to take the excess powder and brush it over where I concealed my blemishes, which is right here on the forehead, down here. Voila. Looks pretty good, right? So my face already looks really good. It honestly looks like I have on a face full of makeup and that is because of my primer. Like your primer makes a huge difference, a huge difference. So next guys, we're gonna be using my favorite. I have been using this for a very long time. This is the Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. This is pressed powder foundation, which I don't use liquid ever. Only time I use liquid is when somebody else is doing my makeup. So I'm using this in the shade NC 44.5 this is my exact color but then I like to make it a little darker so I add in some C8 my normal color that I use um like normally would be C6 but you know I have a tan right now I just came back off of vacation so I have to keep these powders in multiple colors because I cannot be wearing the wrong color so guys, you already see how my face look. I am not going to be using a lot of this because I don't want to look cakey. I want to look really pretty and smooth. So let me show you exactly how I'm going to do it. And I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. powder brush. It's really flat, like this flat kabuki. I love it. So I already dipped it in the C8. Then I'm going to tap it in. Then I just tapped it in the 44.5. So this is how much product is on the brush, y'all can see. So I'm just gonna tap in different places and I'm just gonna blend it out. Cause for me guys, I honestly don't need a lot of product. And this product is really thick, so. Just make sure it's covering everything and then i don't really care to put foundation on my forehead so i just like use the excess that's there and we need to make sure that it's really blended smooth right i'm gonna bring it down my chin on my neck i really hate i have to do this but you know okay we are done with foundation next step we're gonna do is contouring but i have a trick that i use so i'm gonna take my makeup revolution banana powder it's all peeled off so i really don't know what it's reading but yeah i'm just gonna dust some of this in the cap I'm gonna take this really tiny brush. This is the e.l.f. small smudging brush. I'm gonna tap it in here, right? This is my trick to contouring my nose. And this banana powder, I don't. I would never use it under here because it's so drying and it will stick to you. Like, no, it's like too thick. If you're gonna use it, you need to mix it. But yeah, I'm just gonna take this powder and make a line going down my nose. This is my highlight. So I'm just going to let that sit while I start contouring my face. I'm going to be using the Hula Benefit Bronzer. And I'm going to be taking this Morphe M527 Bronzing Brush. And we're going to bronze up the face. And I've already hit pan on this, so y'all know I love this stuff.
And I like a lot of bronzer, so forgive me. And I'm gonna also contour my entire outline of my face, my chin, my jaw. So next I'm going to be taking this Sonia Kashuk, I think that's how you pronounce it. I bought these from Target. It's like this angled brush, if you guys can see. I'm going to be taking that same bronzer and I'm going to be dabbing that in there. And I'm just going to contour my nose right on the outside of the um, setting powder. I'm just going to blend it down just a little bit. Gonna be taking this tapered elf blending brush it looks like this i'm gonna be dipping in the same bronzer just very lightly though so i can connect my bronzer to my um what do you call that yeah so i can connect it because you don't want a floating nose so now i'm gonna be taking my same studio fix powder in the shade c6 you guys see this is my color i already hit pan and I'm just going to lightly get some product on a brush and go underneath my eyes to make it lighter. And then take away, blend out my contour on my nose. Very lightly though because I don't want to take away my contour. Is it too bright? Is my lights too bright? So guys, I'm going to also take this brush right here. The thing has not, um, rubbed off. I've been having this brush for a long time. But I'm going to be taking my Studio Fix Powder. And I'm just going to go underneath my eye, dabbing it, and going along my nose to clean up that contour. Just to snatch my nose just a little bit more. So now I'm going to be taking my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And I'm going to mist my entire face to blend all these powders together because you guys see we use lots of powder. And I like to really get it wet. So while my face is still kind of wet, I'm going to be taking my MAC Oh Darling Extra Diminished Skin Finish. And I'm going to be using this as a highlighter. Well, I think it's a highlighter, definitely. But I'm going to be using my Morphe M510 brush. And this is the highlighter. I'm just going to lightly highlight my face. And I have like a blemish here, so I don't... Don't ever put highlighter on your blemish because it's going to bring it out more. So I'm going to go around it. So now I'm going to be taking this little tiny brush. This may be an eyeliner brush. I'm not sure, but it rubbed off. I've been having it for so long. I'm going to just take it in my um, highlighter and highlight my nose. And I know I do my makeup completely out of order, but I'm going to be taking my makeup by Mario Master Palette. And I'm going to be taking the shade Fifth Avenue. It's literally the only shade that I use out of this palette. It's like a highlight shade, and I'm going to use it to highlight my inner tear ducts. So now guys, it is time for one of my favorite parts. It's a blush. I'm going to be taking this Morphe blush palette. This is, which one is this blush palette? I don't know which one this is because it doesn't say, but anyways. So I'm going to be taking the shade Free and mixing it with Ego, this brown one. I'm just going to apply my blush. I like to put it on my cheeks and then bring it out. And 
It also has a shimmer in the shade Free to give me, well, in both of the shades. I like to add shimmer when I can so that it can just give me like a glow on my face. So the last step to finish my complexion, I'm gonna be using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the shade Dark Golden. Looks like this. I love this stuff. So I'm gonna be taking the same um, powder brush that I was using for my foundation. And I'm just gonna press in my makeup all over to blend everything in. And you don't really want to drag, so just press it in. So look at my skin, guys. It looks really good. So to finish off my makeup, I'm going to be taking my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Airbrush Setting Spray. Well, it's Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This stuff is so good, guys. Your makeup, it will not move. It will stay all day. I had let my sister try this recently when I got married and she was in love. But so one step guys, after I'm completely done with my makeup, I always like to take my a Morphe M504 brush, which is just a huge blending brush. And I like to blend out my eyeshadow a little more from it getting wet from the setting spray. It can make it kind of glossy. So I just want to blend it out. We are done as far as the makeup. I'm going to do my hair and then we're going to finish off our lip. I always like to put my lip on like at the very last minute. Like honestly, when I'm getting ready, I'm going to put on my clothes before I do my lip. Oh guys, and how can I figure? I'm gonna take my spoolie and just brush out my lash extensions. When people get lash extensions, I be seeing them put mascara on them. I don't do that. Like if they're thin, they're thin. I don't mind. I like to lift them like this because sometimes they can look very heavy and make your eyes look very sleepy. But yeah. So we're gonna switch over to the hair. Guys, I'm super duper thirsty. It's so annoying. Okay, let's do our hair. It's pretty much done already. I wanted to put curls in it, but I'm just gonna go through it and straighten it a little bit more. And I'm gonna add a bump to it. I like to use this little yellow comb because the teeth on it are so small. I'm going to be using my baby list flat iron. I'm just going to be going through it, bumping the ends. Like I really want to bump on it. Kind of like an old school vibe. I had pre-prepped my wig before I put it on. So it'll be easy for me when I do put it on and style it. Every time, I'm literally running behind, y'all. The movie starts in like 30 minutes. Still gotta put my clothes on. But the good thing is the movie theater is like five minutes away from my house. Oh, my hair looks so good. Okay, so now for baby hair. So I have my little tiny flat iron. Um, I'm gonna just curl it as much as I can. I'm not gonna try to make it super perfect because I'm in a rush. So this hair will not stay back. So now that we have the baby hair curled a little bit, I'm just going to be taking my Goss to Be Glue hairspray and the edge brush. Spray a little hairspray on it. Don't get it too wet. And I'm just going to brush this out.
So I'm gonna take the excess hairspray that's on here and brush it all the way up here because I have so many flyaways. So to prevent the hairspray from making my hair extremely crunchy, I'm gonna take my fruit, my Garnier fruit teas, just a little bit, guys, because my hair, like I'm trying, oh, dang, that's a lot. Okay, I gotta take some of that out. Um, I don't want my hair to be oily and weighed down. Okay, so my hair is done. It's time to put on our outfit. So I'm thinking about putting this on because we are going to the movie, so I want to be really comfortable. Um, this is a jogger set that I got from Zara. And I know this pink does not match, but I'm definitely going to put on my Crocs, guys, because my toes are out of there. Okay, I need to go to the nail shop. Now I'm going to wear this purse. I also got this purse from Zara. I love it so much that I bought it in three different colors. And yeah, I need something big so I can put a snacks in it. You know, you know what I'm saying? I don't think I'm buying as a drink. I'm bringing my own snacks. But yeah, I'm going to put on these clothes and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am dressed. I had to flip my freaking pants because they were too big. But we're going to now put on our jewelry. I'm going to just add two necklaces, one plain flat necklace, and then I'm going to add my nameplate necklace that says Janae. I don't know why I just really love nameplate necklaces. I'm going to be putting on this nameplate necklace. This is my favorite necklace. My sister bought it for me. Thank you, sister. So the question is, do I want to do loops, big loops or small loops? I'm going to do the big ones. Oh, as far as jewelry on my arm, I'm going to be putting on my little diamond bracelet. Guys, I got this as a gift, a birthday gift years ago. I'm going to be putting my watch on the other hand. Going to be putting on my wedding ring. I think that's the only ring I'm going to put on. So now that we are all done, let's do the lips. So I'm just going to be taking a napkin. I'm going to be wiping off the lip mask that I had on. I'm just going to be taking any old brown pencil that I have. It really doesn't make me no difference. I'm going to line my lips. I really don't know how to line my lips, y'all. Looking like a freaking crazy. So I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. Plumping Lip Gloss, y'all. This stuff is so good. And I like to apply this on my bare lip so that it can plump it or whatever. But it's so good. It's in the shade Mocha Twist. Next, I'm going to be taking my multi lipstick in the shade Boo. I'm just going to be putting that in the middle of my lip. Just dabbing it. So that is the finished look. I love my hair. My makeup came out the same as normal. But you guys have been asking for this on my other channel. This is on my new channel. So make sure you guys are subscribed. And yeah. Ooh. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.